Who am I? My name's Happy. What do I do? I catch monsters with a fly rod. Check it out. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> He's even bigger than I thought he was! This is how you get him outdoors. <laughs> get happy outdoors. Oh man, he's so big. I love fly fishing for muskie. Big tiger muskie. All right, guys. Welcome back to Get Happy Outdoors. Where are we today? Well, let's see. We're still in the state of Utah. And uh, as you can see here, there's a lake. Big old lake right here. Yeah, today's our third day. We're out fly fishing for musky. <laughs> We're fly fishing for crocodiles. And uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys, this is fun. Uh, fly fishing for musky is uh, something new that I picked up recently. I uh, just needed to get some bigger fish, you know, needed to catch something a lot bigger. And boy, I'll tell you what, these guys are huge. This lake has big ones. The lake level has been rising about three feet per day with the runoffs. And with that rising level of water, these muskie are in really, really close to shoreline, exploring the new, everything newly submerged each day. So they're like right on the shore. I mean, rods length out. So it's been a lot of fun, guys. Uh, you're going to see some very fantastic musky, tiger musky, caught on the fly rod on this episode. So stay tuned, guys. You're going to love this. These are magnificent, monstrous fish. The biggest fish in the state. Oh, I'm loving it. So basically, what we're doing is uh, we're not blind casting so much. We are blind casting a little bit, of course, when we can't see any, when we can't find any. And I'm literally not casting more than 20 feet out. I mean, well, 30 feet out. This gets your adrenaline pumping so hard. Oh. So for three days, we haven't had hardly any hits whatsoever. I mean, we could see them throwing our fly by them and they were kind of ignoring the fly. They are following a little bit, but then they're just ignoring it and moving on. So for two full days, that's what we got. That's what we had. Just casting to them, we could see them and they'd check out the fly, but they wouldn't grab it. They wouldn't bite it. So for two days, we had that. And that was just oh, excruciating. I mean, that was, it was so hard to deal with, but today, uh, up until about two, two and a half hours ago, it was uh, really sunny. And then we had this storm system move in that didn't really let down too much rain. It just darkened up and everything, and oh, made per made conditions really good. We got two more moving in on us right here. Oh, that's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh! Oh! And eat on film. Oh! Woo! Oh, man! I think he was the biggest one yet. Oh! I can't believe he threw the fly. Oh, right in the middle of me talking. <laughs> oh my God, you don't know. It's such an adrenaline rush to get these guys on the line. Oh. <laughs> Till the next one, guys. Get happy. Outdoors. Oh, this is so much fun. These are beasts. Getting a tiger musky hookup on film is even rarer than catching them <laughs> without videoing. So we're going to...
Woohoo! They got turned on. Yeah, finally. Oh, this guy is heavy. Not as big as the last one, but he's close. Oh, he's going all the way up to the backing. Uh. Come on back here. I've been after these guys for three days. I haven't had but two bites, two hits in those three days. And today we just got two inside of ten minutes. got that entire steel leader wrapped around going from he's hooked up in one side of his jaw and it's all the way out the other side of his jaw oh yeah come here buddy oh my god jeez oh he's a lot bigger than I thought he was he's a lot bigger Big fly, yeah. Guys, you can't believe how big this thing is. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. Look at this. This musky. <laughs> God, I'm telling you, wow, man, that's what I wanted. On this trip, that's what I wanted. Look at his teeth. Look at those teeth, they're huge. Oh, man. Well, he's past 40, 45, 45 inches. Oh, man, what a monster. 45 inches long, guys. Woohoo, yeah. Oh, man. And here comes the rain. Five inches. Oh yeah, I knew I'd get at him. Ah. Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> oh. You got him on the the snake fly. This thing's ten inches long. <laughs> Look what he curled up a steel leader. Oh, oh man, I gotta keep going guys. I mean, it's starting to rain a little bit, but they're starting to eat. They're actually eating. Guys, we just get another eat. I don't know how big this one is. It might be uh, about the same size.
It was just this weather, it was just turning them on right here. Oh man, perfect weather for us. Oh, look at this. Look at you, another one, another big one. Right in the corner of the jaw again. Oh, look at this. heavier than the other one. Oh my goodness, he's heavier. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at these things. They are enormous. <laughs> this is how you get happy. Outdoors. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh look what he took. <laughs> Salamander imitation. Muskie on the fly rod, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> oh man, he's over 20 pounds. Forty inches exactly. Forty. Oh. One more look at this guy. Oh boy. This is a forty incher, but he's heavier than the other one. He's got to be twenty plus pounds. Oh man. <laughs> you gotta love this. Oh. in the last 40 minutes on a five weight rod with zero X tippet for my leader. Oh, we got a good heat on this one, guys. lot of fun man uh you, the ups the downs you guys get to see it all <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> all right guys the rain stopped i just got back out here this is like my third cast Woo. <laughs> they're still hitting <laughs> Oh man, I had to spend three days out here to get these guys. Oh man, you just don't know what it's like to go three days without even a hit almost. Oh yeah. I mean, I spent two days learning and learning and learning. 
now I've got the technique down for sure. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, look at you. Oh. Another one in the corner of the jaw. Oh, yeah. God, these things are monstrous. Come on now. Don't make me break my rod. Jeez, you're so freaking heavy. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's even bigger than I thought he was. Oh. How long are you? Oh, 44 inches it's on this one. Oh. <laughs> they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, he's so heavy. So thick. Oh man. Uh, I'm not going to let you go until you're totally ready. Boy, you've been beat up a little bit. I love fly fishing for musky. Big tiger musky. No matter what, I've already achieved, achieved my goal. That's... The 46, the 45 incher was my biggest one. Then I caught the 40 incher, now 44 incher. Oh my God. Oh my God. And they're so heavy and beastly. Oh. That salamander fly, they got two of them so far. Oh, I'm shaking still. You get, you, yeah, when you catch monsters like this, guys, you shake. I mean, it's just, you can't get it out of your system. Your adrenaline is just pumped. Wow. Wow. Yep. Big old nine inch salamander fly. <sighs> I am ecstatic. I cannot believe this, man. Three days and nothing. No hits, no takes. I mean, just, I had two takes in those three days. And this is the afternoon of, actually, the, like 5 p.m. Uh, of day three. And I've got three landed. And so far today, in the last two hours, I've hooked up on six altogether. So... I hooked up on six, landed three of them. And the technique, oh, it took so long to figure it out. But that's the thing, I mean, each lake, a different technique works best. Uh, like Pine View Reservoir, I fished that last year, and uh, they wanted a uh, kind of a chub pattern or crappie looking fly and they wanted it stripped kind of an even speed you know not not real fast or anything and they would hit it right on that fall right in between when in between strips and that you know then you get them up here they're not hitting that way um right here they want you to strip it and then let it fall and they want to wait until it almost hits the bottom so they're all in the shallows of course you know so it's only five feet deep um, but yeah you strip it strip it strip it strip it strip it then let it fall now on that fall I can actually I, I've actually seen a few of them when it falls they stay right up there the fly falls down like this hits the bottom they'll hover above it 
And then as soon as I go to move it, boom, they grab it. But it's a longer stall. And that's the trick that's working on these guys. I mean, hooking up with six inside of two hours. Wow. Everything's 40 plus inches. I want to get that. We just get another eat, guys. Wrist is getting sore. Musky fishing late May. This is last week of May. I wasn't intending to come out this early, but uh, shed hunting kind of didn't turn out very well. So Probably the smallest one. So pretty. These guys are just the prettiest things ever. This is my smallest one so far, and he's 38 inches. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, you gotta love this. This is how you get happy outdoors. <laughs> oh, that's number four today. Number four in one day. Oh, oh are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. Yeah, we're good. Number four, number four in one day. Oh, tiger musky fishing, you're lucky to get one a day, two a day max. I mean, two a day is like a, a dream come true day. But four in one day, this is a dream. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's day four. <laughs> we're still here. Uh, we're trying it one more day. We've uh, we actually had two chases this morning. Uh, one hookup. Uh, he broke the leader. Actually, uh, nice big guy. Big big fella. It's getting really really windy out. Yeah, we're getting white caps now, so it's actually in little worse condition so we're gonna go back to the truck eat some lunch and uh, come back out when it calms a little bit <laughs> so we'll see you guys then or if not all right well we're coming up on the end of day four here guys and uh as you can see we just had like three storms in a row circle through here and i'm hoping that it turns the bite on we're gonna find out here right about now Unfortunately, there was a lot of rain that came with this, these storms and uh, that murked up the water quite a bit. So, who knows? But uh, we might be doing a lot of blind casting in order to hook up. Uh, might not actually be able to see anything through the murk. So, let's hope the bite's on, guys. All right, talk to you a bit. Day four, third hookup today. 
see if we can catch this one. a big one since it's so hard to hook up with these guys once you have one on and you lose it it can be devastating god he threw the fly ah. well <laughs> that's musky fishing <laughs> oh my goodness I had no idea how big he was until he jumped and threw the hook. Oh, man. <laughs> that was blind casting. I didn't even, barely even felt the hit, actually. As soon as he grabbed the fly, it seemed like he started coming towards me the way I was stripping in. So I barely felt the hit. So I didn't set the hook hard enough. That's obviously what was what happened. Oh, man. Well, on to the next one. right out too. Well, that was a catch. <laughs> we just didn't get the measure of his all. It was definitely 40 plus. <laughs> Another one for the snake fly. <laughs> just came out <laughs> look at this guys oh boy wow last one <laughs> oh another 40 incher Woo <laughs> Oh, you are chumped down on my freaking fingers. Oh. Oh. Oh, you got me good. 41, two, 42 inches. Oh. Oh, boy. 42 inches, guys. <laughs> oh, man. And I swear this is the last 20 minutes of daylight. Oh, what a fantastic fish. <laughs> oh, 42 inches, and he's got to be over 20 pounds. Wow. Whoa. All right, guys. Wow. Just wow <laughs> this is how you get happy Whew. 
Oh, all right. Cut me all the way down to the knuckle, I think. Oh. That's my blood. Wow. Such a quick fight on this guy, too. He just really wasn't expecting it. So beautiful. Oh, wow, my whole knuckle's swollen up. Well, if it was going to happen. <laughs> Man, look at this. My knuckles all swelling up and everything. Oh, yeah. You cut me good. Because I didn't want to drop this one. Oh, boy. Might have a tooth in there. So the cuts from the muskie were not as severe as I thought they might be. But instead... I found out that he broke two bones in this finger and dislocated the joint. And it was totally worth it. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. We're going to call it a day on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fly Fishing for Tiger Muskie in May of 2023. What a blast. Six Tiger Muskie all together that we caught. All of them were over 40 inches except for one that was 38. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Till the next one, get happy outdoors. <laughs>